Chat's also saying Blake gets in and says that he wants to see Booth and Kendrick on the field the same time as Murphy, Davis, Percy, and Henry. It's going to be pretty nasty uh, yeah. for sure. I, I agree. I agree. I think I think this defense, now that they're healthy and they're back, is going to be very difficult for Clemson, uh, for for Ohio State to to, to manage. There, there are differences out there. I think, uh, you know, Clemson has a lot. I think Clemson has upgrades. I wouldn't necessarily say maybe an upgrade at, at A.J. Terrell, but I don't necessarily think it was a downgrade to get Andrew Booth or Sheridan Jones. No. I think there's a downgrade. Would you say there's a downgrade in – I don't think there's a downgrade in defensive line for Clemson. I don't think there's really a down, downgrade at, at, at linebacker either because I think that Mike Jones is better than, than Chad Smith, even though I, I love Chad Smith. But um, – a bail inspector, excuse me, I guess, maybe uh, on that side. Uh, I do. Th- I guess Mike Jones maybe not as good as Isaiah Simmons, but he's a different kind of player. What do you think about the secondary? We were Previously, Kayvon Wallace, Tanner Muse, now Charleston Turner slash Landon Zanders. What do you think, Houston? To me, I, I think there's a group of, of the secondary that if you're able to find a mixture, have them on the field of, of Turner, Green, Booth, uh, and DK, that is your your sweet spot right there. I think the ones that aren't like Mario Goodrich, good a good role player to get in there. Um, Sheridan Jones is still developing. Landon Xanders, I feel like is good blitzing. Um, uh, and Joseph Charleston is still also developing. But I think the the four that are your four studs, the guys that you want in the field, are DK, um, Andrew Booth, uh, Malcolm Green. Um, and and uh, Nolan Turner, and I think that's that would give you the best shot to win because those are the four guys that that bring it, um, you know, most every play. Um, but then again, I feel like this is a good time to shine for those others. Um, if Joseph Charleston really is a starter, he's had moments where he's looked really good. Um, I feel like we're we're getting to a point now with our depth in our secondary um, to where it's becoming more of a. And, you know, in years past, the secondary might be more of a liability. We're starting to get better. The Clemson is starting. You're starting to see the the growth in the secondary. Um, but I still think there are a couple little spots, a couple of players that need to grow and develop where there's four studs on your defense and you can you should trot them out there to start the game. Yeah, Houston's not telling me anything. I don't know. I've been talking about green since we recruited him. OK, I love this kid. I think he's going to be such a superstar at Clemson. I really wish they could play him back there at safety. I really do. I wish it could be him and Turner back there at safety. And maybe, you know, that he's been he's got versatility for sure. They recruited him to play several different positions, the nickel position, cornerback, safety, whatever. Uh, and he's been on the field a good bit, especially these last few games. Um, I'd love to see him back there. I think he's a stud. I think he's a smart player. Uh, I think he loves to hit. I love the way he looks at the quarterback. You know, he's watching the ball a good bit of the time, which is a pet peeve of mine, of course, uh, when when people don't get their head around, you know that. But um, I, I love I love that I love I love everything we have back there. I, I think Booth is is an incredible athletic uh, specimen. You know, we saw that interception he had uh, where he comes over and robs one from who was it Venables maybe Tyler Venables or something. I can't even remember who it was. But he just you know Superman flew in front of him and, and snagged the ball. It's just incredible athleticism, and he he's built like a like a first round corner. And I, I hope he uh, continues to play that way. And. Uh... You know, I'm thinking, like, some people are saying, what do you think about the deep ball for Clemson's secondary? I really don't think, I mean, I know that they they have issues, but I don't think it's necessarily as bad as Tanner Muse, who really liked to cheat a lot. He wasn't cheating as bad as T.J. Green cheating. I think T.J. Green's cheating, he cheated so much on spying on the quarterback that it lost them a national championship game, to be honest with you. In 2015, lost them national championship game. One of the players. Now, also with McKenzie Alexander being hurt, um, yep. but T.J. Green cheated a little, way too much. Tanner Muse was like, you know, T.J. Green 2.0 didn't cheat as bad, but still loved to rather get a sack on somebody or or a big hit. Same thing with Kayvon Wallace. Uh, so I think these guys are a little bit more. Interest, especially Nolan Turner, with the fact that he has so many interceptions, he's interested more in in the coverage play. Um, and same thing with Green as well. I think Landon Zanders, I think, is more of the hard hitting type guy that you're used to back there. But um, I'm not necessarily saying it's necessarily a downgrade. Different kind of team for sure. If you look at the 2019 team versus Clemson 2020, 
uh, it's a big difference really on defense. So I'm interested to see what Brent Venables can dial up. I think they do well. 